So Daniel Pewter is pulled from TV and it's speculated in the observer that with Paul Heyman being taken off the writing team, he was going to have a hard time breaking through. It said that Heyman's original goal with the gold medal challenge that Kurt was doing every week with local indie die indie guys was that Pewter would be the payoff. Now that's been refuted over the years and said, Hey, that was just a total accident. Is that how you remember it? That maybe Heyman was campaigning for Pewter behind the scenes. Not that I remember ever. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't ever remember Paul really, really pushing pewter hard. You know, unfortunately in this business, every once in a while, as I I have said before, you know, eventually that damn bell has to ring. Right. And that red light has to go on. Right. I don't know that, you know, even years later, I, I don't know that, uh, pewters is got the charisma to make it to the next level in, in, at least in this business, I, maybe he does in other businesses and maybe elsewhere, but I don't think that he ever had that, that, Oh my God, I've got to see Daniel pewter. Um, I just don't think he had it. And I, I don't ever remember Paul, you know, ever standing up and being, Oh my God, I've got to have Daniel pewter. Uh, the Miz and Daniel Rodimer both turned down developmental contracts coming off of tough enough at the time. Of course, we know that they didn't wind up winning, but ultimately they both had a little moment here in the sun, but it's reported in the observer that Rodimer joked with people that Johnny Ace got him drunk and tried to get him to sign. Now, I'm not saying that happened, but I can't wait for you to try to give me an impression <laughs> of Johnny Ace trying to get a guy drunk and get him to sign. Cause that's funny. That's not funny. We try to say, Hey, you want some Malibu rum? <laughs> Come on, Connie. I bet you want some French fries. Oh, that was a bad Patterson oh, line. Bad. What are you doing? <laughs> and I bet you, 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 you want the French fry, don't you? Now, here's the thing if Pat had offered me a cheeseburger, I'd have ate that. You know what I mean? But I'm just not a French fry guy. You know that. So, the Miz, though, think yeah. about that. Boy, it all worked out. Uh, I guess it came down to just the economics from my understanding at the time, the developmental contracts were, shall we say, not very substantial. So it it get your foot in the door, get you going, but, uh, probably not exactly going to be able to take the family out to dinner every night on that sort of deal. But ultimately it worked out. Do you remember, uh, having any sort of discussions about, well, we really see something in that kid in particular talking about the miss. No, not really. I I think that in the beginning, the feeling for Miz was that Miz just wanted to be a TV star. Miz wanted to be a reality star, not necessarily a WWE superstar. That was the internal feeling. Right. Nobody really thought that Miz had it in him to achieve all the success that that, uh, he has achieved throughout the years. And I'm the first one to admit I didn't see it in Miz, but by God, I'm also the first one to walk up to him and congratulate him on all the success that he has earned. You talk about somebody earning everything they've gotten. It, it's Miz. Mike Mazanin is is just that. It, and when you think of all the folks who have had success in WWE, there's a lot of folks who had, I mean, they just came out of the gate and they were successful. Like WWE saw something in them. And as people like to joke, oh, they strapped the rocket to them. That is not the case with Miz, but man, Miz is like the shining example of hanging in the pocket and seeing what's possible. He's living his best life, man. He is one of the great success stories about perseverance. Is he not? Miz was a guy that you could hand a turd to, and he would shine it into a diamond. What a compliment. Uh, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.